Hey, what is up guys? So today we're talking Nine Perfect Strangers Season 1 Review. I actually didn't know that Episode 8 was the last episode. Uh, I think it dropped like two days ago. I was making videos sort of like every week on these certain episodes, but uh, as you'll see from this review, like at a certain point, I just didn't become as motivated to make them because the views were good, but it just wasn't something I was like passionate about. Like an episode would end and I'd be like, there wasn't much that went on. I didn't want to talk about it. But this will be a spoiler review, I think, because if I gave a spoiler for your review, uh, I just don't think I'd be able to you know, give you guys my real thoughts on it as well as I, as I wanted to. I wanted to just tell you guys, if you haven't seen it already, you know, go and watch and then come back here if you want. But, uh, you know, let's just get into the review. Uh, before we get into it, please make sure to like the video, like always. And uh, if you're new here, please make sure to subscribe. And uh, that's it. Let's get into it. So like I said, this will be a spoiler review. So if you've seen, you've seen the show already, right? So you already know what the story's about. All these people that deal with trauma, they go to this resort headed by Masha. Uh, and she's there to make their trauma go away, right? Uh, so... Right off the bat, cast is great, right? I don't even think the show would be as good without this cast. If this was a show full of nobody actors, I don't even, I think it would fly very under the radar, may not even be good. Like it wouldn't even be that interesting, I think. I think it's because we're watching and we see Nicole Kidman, Michael Shannon, Melissa McCarthy, um, Shaw from Fast and Furious, I forget his name, uh, Sigourney Weaver, no, not Sigourney Weaver, Samara Weaving. And uh, you know, just watching them makes the show a lot better. They bring their whole, uh, you know, different sort of thing that they always bring. Like Nicole Kidman has that presence. Michael Shannon has that presence. And uh, I really enjoyed that. I also think the show just looks great sometimes. The cinematography is a standout. You just notice it's some great shots in the beginning. And I think the location of this resort is like beautiful. And they have some really nice shots of the sunset and the water. And it just gives off like this nice vibe. Other notable things are that the theme is good. I like the theme. I always like to, you know, look at the show's theme, see if it's any good. I think this one was good. Uh, the score, I think, was actually noticeably good at times. You know, sometimes you just pick it up and you're like, oh, wow, you know, it blends well with what's going on. Story-wise, this is where it's, it gets sort of iffy for me, right? Because I said in my previous review from episodes one to three, like my first review of this, um, I was expecting a show that was like a murder mystery. I said it was like going to be, I thought it was going to be like, and then there were none story if you read that book. All these people go into like this house they kind of slowly get killed off and we have to like figure out who's doing it what's behind it or like what's really going on i thought it was going to be more like that but it really is just about dealing with trauma with drugs sort of right that's pretty much what the whole show is about obviously i don't think it's promoting drugs in any way i think it's just like in this uh, an interesting concept i don't know if it's like this engaging kind of like mouth-watering concept you know like how some shows like Ozark or Breaking Bad, like very unique, very just like thrilling. This was more like interesting, very weird, sometimes creepy. Um, I thought the whole mystery of like Masha's past was very interesting. You know how there were like notes that would be le left for her and we're trying to figure out who's doing that. And there would be theories about who's doing it. And then finally we find out towards the end who it is. Uh, spoiler, it's it's Carmela, right? She, it's revealed with her eye. She like put a fake beard on, like makeup. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was a cool little twist for the last episode, uh, but not. It wasn't. Didn't really feel like a huge revelation. Like, in the last episode begins with that, and then it's sort of like they lock her away, and Masha like forgives her already. You know, it, and th you know that's just Masha's character. Like she's forgiving like that. Uh, so I thought it was cool throughout the episode, but I don't think the payoff was that strong. So yeah, so if we look at the show as a whole, like in the beginning, I was very interested. You know, the first episode, I was like, wow, this is interesting. Like, like. We were just, it was a lot of introduction the first episode, right? But I was like, this could be something really great. That's when I thought it was going to be more like a mystery, like a murder mystery thing. From episodes two to four, I think this is where my negatives sort of lie. Like, I didn't really think those were the weakest episodes two to four. I think because a lot of it was filled with too much downtime, like too many unimportant scenes that I kind of knew wasn't going to lead anywhere. Very relationship focused show in general. I think some episodes just focused too much on like dialogue between characters and that would end up leading not really to anything. There, there was no payoff even by the end with those characters. And uh, some of it got repetitive, some stuff, like there was like that um, that beanbag, not beanbag, what would they call it? The, the hot potato, not hot potato, what's it called? The, the potato race, right? Like scenes like that, or you know, or like it's just, they're just taking drugs again and like they're hallucinating. It just became repetitive for me. I just knew that it, it wasn't important. So I would just, you know, go on my phone sometimes or it just wasn't really like engaging for me it was like for those middle episodes we were just like waiting around until the very end right something creepy would happen someone masha's past would come up or uh you know something like that but it was just for the episode we just felt like we were waiting uh like i said it was relationship focused uh michael shannon i think takes the crown for the best performance out of everyone 
out of the star-studded cast, I think Shannon shines out the most. And I think it's because his story uh, was the was the best. His family, like with Zoe and the wife and Michael Shannon's character, everything with their with their son that killed himself. I think that was the most interesting, the most powerful, the thing that uh, resonated with the audience the most. And I think that was what it was meant to be. Like the show focused on them the most and their trauma. Uh, and I, like I said, it was most interesting. And it was like whenever that was showcased, I was always invested in that story. So I did like that. Uh, just thinking about it right now, I think the book form, I, I know it's based off a book, and I think the book form is, is probably better than a show format. Just picturing it wise, I would probably be more interested in the book than this sh- than how I was in the show. Um, but, you know, I, I did enjoy the show. I, I did like it. Um, it was just wasn't something I was always looking forward to each and every week. Um, by episode, what was my fa- episode six was my favorite. I think that was when, I think that was the key episode, right? Where like when she finds the, she's her brother by the pool and Nicole Kidman speaks to her like in a different language and says like, you're the key. That's when I was like, holy shit, what's, what's going on? Like, this is where the stakes felt really high. But then episode eight, I think, no, episode seven, the one after that, I think it was the worst. And then episode eight was a really good finale, really good finish. It actually makes the show sort of worth it to watch because the finale I think was pretty good. And I think it wraps up nicely. Um, the revelation, like I said, with Carmela, uh, different stuff goes on. They make peace with their trauma and everything like that. I think some characters, like uh, the one who plays Shaw, were kind of like left, like just the, the, some characters didn't matter as much, and you could tell with the finale. Masha has some good payoff with her daughter. Uh, like Samara Weaving, I think was very underutilized in the show. I think she's such a great actress from Ready or Not that I watched. And I just think her character was eh you know she's like that dumb pretty girl and i think there could have been more to her i guess the only real problem with me is that i thought the show was gonna be different i thought it was gonna be like this murder mystery thing so once i saw that like it was about this just a drug thing and it was like masha just brings them in to like have this purpose of connecting with her daughter right the whole purpose of the show for masha's character was to find someone that would help her go to this different uh like dimension of time to like feel her daughter again because when she got shot she kind of like felt her daughter because it was like a near-death experience so she's like searching for that same feeling through drugs so i thought that was interesting and the stakes do get higher as the show goes along i thought the whole hallucinations uh aspect was a good element to the show like towards the later back ends of the show we focus more on all these hallucinations i thought that was more interesting instead of just us thinking like oh is masha like poisoning them or like what is she really doing interesting but not really as engaging so overall i did enjoy the show i'm gonna give you guys my rating right now i'm gonna give it 3.7 out of 5 um like i said it's very weird very interesting show i just don't think it's something that you guys need to like rush and go see you know it's not like a must watch where as this cast shows it's such a great cast it should be something that you know that is really a standout but i don't think it is a standout i've seen a lot of people enjoy it a lot but it just wasn't really my cup of tea you know, but I did enjoy it. So if you like this video, please make sure to like it. Like always, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Uh, let me know what you guys thought of the show down below in the comments. What was your favorite episode? If you enjoyed it, if you didn't like it, if you plan on watching it, whatever. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Like always, channel is doing pretty good. Sorry about the last video, sort of lazy, but it's getting good views. But uh, thank you like always, and I'll see you guys in the next video.